how to improve your social media marketing. If you are a solo entrepreneur trying to go to that next level, you yeah. hinted at it a little bit, but I want yeah. you to I mean, explain sure. your story from going from solo to how you now handle your own social media. Yeah, for sure. For me, um, it's uh, just hiring it out. Um, I think another way, if I was still doing it again, though, if I was had to take that back on myself, I'd be looking at people that I think is that are doing it well. Somebody like Russell Brunson is a master at this. I I'd copy a lot of the stuff, the techniques he's using. And because the, there's a, there are people that spend lots of money to know what wor what works and what doesn't. So just copy what they're doing. I mean, don't copy their posts. You can actually, you could screenshot their posts and give them credit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, that's a good strategy. It. Don't copy and not give their, not give their credit. <laughs> yeah, I just um, came up with an amazing idea. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, but look at what types of posts are they posting? What kind of questions are they asking? Um, I mean, they're probably testing things out as well too, but obviously they're putting money behind this. They're, they got people on staff that are experts so just find somebody that you think is doing this really well. And what are they doing? Copy that. Um, that's would be, a, that'd be a big part of my strategy. What types of, what types of pictures are they using? What types of, are they doing long form content or short form content? Um, are they doing tags on Instagram or no tags? Are the tags in the post or in the comments? Just things like that. You can learn a lot just by watching one of the people do. But yeah, building that what I, but I would hire it out. I would yeah, for... that's, improve it is just get it off your plate, especially if it's in your drudgery zone that I know you're going to want to talk about here in a little bit. Um, get, get it off your plate and focus on the things that, uh, that you're the best at. As a small business owner, you are looking for ways to get your time back. The most valuable time that you can spend making the most money, spending with your time, spending time with the people that you want is where you should be trying to get all your time to be in that zone. The drudgery zone for me, especially, is social media. I, I don't like it. I understand that it is the um, new place to hang out. Social media is the new watering hole. I, yeah. I think before when it was the radio, everybody was around the radio. Then it was TV. Then most people are on the TV. Now, because there's so many different platforms, it's a little more compartmentalized. But there's still people going to these platforms. Even though I don't like Facebook, I don't like Instagram, I, there's a lot of platforms that I don't like, I still realize that people are there, there's eyeballs mm -hmm. there, less people are going to Google and hitting the search bar to find whatever they're mm -hmm. looking for than just opening up their phone, scrolling for a little bit going, oh, I do like XYZ product, let me yeah. go to the website that way. So people are coming to websites from many different avenues now. So if you yes. want to be an entrepreneur or anything online, I feel like you have to go where the people are. The people are in social media. You have to be a part yes. of it. And I agree hundred percent with Ryan. You have to hand it off because it is extremely time consuming. If you are trying to grow a business and do other things, social media marketing, it is a lucrative endeavor, but it should not be your whole business. Marketing should be a piece of the business. It should be like the bloodline of your business, but you still have a business to run. Your time is still valuable doing mm -hmm. other things. That Michael Hyatt um, slide, it, this is like the perfect representation of what me and Ryan are trying to help you do. Yeah. If social media is in the distraction zone, because you open it up and you're following some rabbit hole or somebody else clicking on something and you're just spending a lot of time not actually doing the social media marketing or if it's a disinterest like me or here in the drudgery zone where that might be exactly where me and ryan are at with social media then you really should hand it off somebody else that's going to do it stay focused actually get it done that's the part that you should be handing off so that you can stay in your desired zone where you're passionate and proficient and we should have profitable on here yeah. that's what you should be spending most of your time we since the calls that we've had, I think have come up with three very interesting offers. We've seen people that want to do it themselves. So we have come up with a template to help guide you because this is something that Ryan was talking about when he first got started. He would spend a lot of time and not know exactly what to post or how to post. We kind of want to do something that's a little bit more handholdy. We're giving you the template. It's just fill in the blank, put your name, put your products. Be templates. There's templates. Be, uh, 30 templates. Yes. I'm right, going to go 30 templates per month. So if you want to be a little more aggressive, you'll just get a new fresh set of templates every month. They're mm -hmm. industry specific. So if you're going after something, we're helping you put those together. Mm -hmm. Some are quotes, some are pictures, but they're, we're trying to mix in the promotional with the interactive post there. And if you want to be more like Ryan and hand it completely off, we have an offer for that where it's just done for you. We will help you at the different platforms that you're on. We will pull the information. You don't have to give us anything if you don't want to. Just 
brand logo, a couple of things, and we will do everything else for you. Then we see that there are some people that want a strategy, want to atomize their pillar content. They have an idea. They know who their target audience are. Those are the people that we are more working with to help them build that strategy and how to implement. The VAs work a lot more closely with them with asking them, hey, I saw you just did a presentation. Can we pull some of that along with add your offer in there? Really set out like a strategy for growing the email list, promoting your stuff, putting the value ladder together and put it into process for you. So we are trying to cover all the basis of the people that we've had calls on. And since we've been doing this a little while, we said we should open this up to more people and help them with social media. So if that's you, please check out wingmanvas.com backslash social media. The link will also be in the description. So are you a small business owner feeling overworked, overwhelmed when it comes to social media marketing? If you found this video helpful, we would love to come alongside you and help you become an unfrazzled entrepreneur. Click the link below or just go to wingmanvas.com and check out how we can help you get your time back.